Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video where I want to show you how you can calculate the month to date cumulative values or the running total based on the date function that returns the month to date date values in a table or it basically returns a table that has the month to date date values. So this is something useful or as an alternate to to uh, other MTD functions which I have uh, uh, explained it in the past and this is completely based on um, you know the date internal date month to date function which you can also keep it handy uh, in case whenever you have this scenario. So before jumping to that just a quick information that if you have landed very first time on my channel then this sheet is something which I am keeping in the description of every video of Power BI that means this link is present where you can access to search any of my videos which I am posting it over here and any of my historical video search for it and you will find the link over here in column B to jump over there onto that particular topic. Also since this is a live sheet it will be having all of my future videos as well as I will be posting in future weeks or months. All right, with that, let me go to the Power BI. So here we are in the Power BI. As you can see, it's a very simple table. So what we want to do is, is a running total till 31st of Jan, and then it should again start from 1st of Feb and do the running total. So running total like on first day, it will be 16.4. On the very second day, it will be 288.1 plus 16.4, and so on and so forth from these days, right? So for that, we actually need a date table which has the continuous dates. So what I had created earlier is this date table um, which is basically based on the minimum order and maximum. Uh, it is simply based on the calendar function which is accepting the minimum order date and maximum order date to find the range of this date and create all the dates in between of these two dates. So this is a key and then a join has been created between this order date and orders table on the order date column right and after that I am creating this calculation so the calculation I will going to create with the help of the new measure and that will be sales sales MTD and here I will going to use the calculate function uh, where I will say the sum of sales order sales comma here I will going to provide the dates empty D function what it accepts is basically we're going to accept this date so if you see date this is the date which I will be giving with it's nothing but the key date the the date which has the continuous value so if I close this and close this because if you see these these this order date which I have posted here is the transaction dates on which the transaction is has been occurring so on 11th and then after that you have 13 that means there is no transaction on 12th right and you will find these scenarios in this entire table so that is the reason we are creating this key table and providing this uh, continuous states so if i click it and uh, it will going to create the sales mtd this one so now this is selected if i put it over here so now you see 16.4 288 plus 16.4 is 305, 304 plus 19.5 is 324, so on and so forth, till the last day of the month. So if you see now, the day 12 is also coming. If you remember, just a couple of seconds before, I was mentioning that the 12th is not coming because uh, the, on which the transaction is not done. And that is why, if you see the cumulative is same. So it is basically populating the cumulative sum for each day. So that's something I wanted to show you uh, how you can do month to date and as you can see on 31st of Jan you are finding the final value. Now you have the other values as well and based on these two values if you want to do any calculation like percentage and things like those then you can do that. So with that um, that's mainly I wanted to show you in this video and I'll meet you in the next video with the new topic.